What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be covering the SoFi stock. I hope everybody has a great Friday, but we have some breaking news for you today, guys. A lot of great information for you. If you find any of this information useful, be sure to smash the like button, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are going to be keeping you updated daily. Guys, I believe that this massive convertible note move that Anthony Noto has made, guys, this is the breaking point for SoFi to get this stock into overdrive because management has some massive bonuses to hit at the $45 level, specifically Anthony Noto, $100 million on the line. And what CEO out there is not going to do everything in his power to potentially hit that $100 million bonus? I believe he is putting the final touches on this bad boy to get this stock moving the next two and a half years. Guys, you got to realize we are already one quarter done, basically, you know, two, three more weeks with Q1 2024. We are moving very quickly, and I'm telling you right now, you are about to see SoFi break into massive profitability mode. These guys are not going backwards, guys. They are only going forward. You are about to see profits just dramatically increase over the next four quarters. And guys, so far, we have had three analysts to come out on this stock, and two analysts, the day of the convertible note, just massive sell rating, massive sell rating. The same exact guys that have gave you 22 sell ratings over the past two years, literally between four analysts, these were two out of the four analysts. These guys have gave us, you know, a dozen sell ratings. They just won't stop. They do not care what the company does. It just does not matter. But today we got a third analyst finally coming out on this convertible note. And that was Dan Dola from Azul reiterating his $12 price target and saying, you know, this potential uh, convertible note move may move bears over to bulls, you know, once they realize, you know, exactly what happened. So once again, guys, if you enjoy the video, smash the like button, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick little recap on Yahoo Finance real quick. You can see SoFi Technologies today, 3.2% on the day, guys, green. And it was a red day inside of the market. If you just look to the right right here, take a look at the you know big indexes. S&P 500 down 0.65. NASDAQ down 1%. And uh, even uh, Russell and Dow both down. So everything was down today, guys. But take a look at the volume, guys. We still had massive volume even you know three days after this convertible note. Volume was still very, very high. 76 million on an average of 56 million. So guys, looks like there was a lot of buying coming up in the pre-markets today in the morning, you know, early morning. The stock was, you know, up, you know, almost 4%, sold off a little bit and still finished green. So guys, we had strong, strong resilience, you know, ending the day. And that's exactly what I want to see. It looks like, you know, big institutions are, you know, going to be capitalizing on this, uh, you know, sell-off because this convertible note is bullish for SoFi's profitability in the future. Once again, guys, this convertible note has many dynamics to it. But guys, I want you to realize this convertible note is expected to save SoFi $60 million an annual interest expense per year from this convertible note deal. So if I got it for 95 to 105 million gap net income profitability in 2024, we also know SoFi is known for sandbagging these past couple of years in this current macro. Expect massive revisions over the next four quarters, you know, from these analysts, guys. This simple deal should boost them to 165 million net income with no guidance increases. So just making this deal, you know, knocking off 60 million in expenses, that brings you up to 165 million uh, dollars in uh, gap profitability, guys. I mean, that's another, what, uh, five, six cents or something like that? Stock go prediction, because I know how SoFi likes to guide, guys. We could be looking at 200 to 300 million dollars in net income profitability in 2024, guys. This is exactly what we want to see. SoFi has, you know, lost two to 300 million dollars the last three years. Q4 was the breaking point, and they said they are never going back to losses, guys. Scaling the profitability, scaling the growth. And this convertible note deal is also going to, you know, increase their uh, capital ratios. So they can lend even further out, guys. You know, stronger lending is what we want to see. But remember, the guidance was a decrease in lending of, you know, 92 to 95 percent. If they go, you know, over, you know, what they did last year, maybe a five, 10 percent growth. I mean, this stock is really going to have some serious growth. I think revenue growth is going to come in at 30 percent year over year. We know the analysts right now are predicting 15 percent. Imagine beating these analysts, you know, by 100 percent on revenue growth. And guys, look at this. Semiconductors today taking a massive massive hit and sofi was holding strong this convertible note deal is finalizing today guys on friday this is a very rare sight to see i wanted you guys to know that guys look at the semiconductor guys take a look at the semiconductors today just absolutely getting smoked every single one of them two percent seven percent two percent 
6%, 11% for Marvel, AMD 2%, just crazy, crazy, you know, sell off. These are the stocks that have been running the absolute hardest, you know, the past year, year and a half. But I think we are going to see a rotation back into small cap growth, specifically a SoFi. And I think fintech, you know, is on a breaking point. I think SoFi is at the top of the list when you're talking about all other fintechs, private markets, public markets. I think this company is going to see massive, massive growth in 2024 this year with profitability full year. All right, guys, let's move over to the breaking news. The SoFi website traffic is out. We know that website traffic for the month of uh, January was absolutely insane. A new all-time high. But traffic came in slightly lower compared to January. Don't get too worried about it. We're going to show you the details. But still higher than December, which was another record. Total visits down 5% month over month. So we saw a 5% uh, decline. You can see right here the details. December 15.1 million. January 16.3 million. Uh, February 15.5 million down 5%. So a slight decline, but still insane traffic. I mean, we're talking second highest, you know, all time in company history. Maybe potentially we're going to see the traffic ramp up in March. Like I've been showing you guys on my Twitter. I mean, the NBA marketing has been going absolutely crazy. And some of those posts were coming out, you know, March 2nd, March 3rd, March 4th, when I was talking about they were advertising on, you know, multiple games, ESPN. So maybe they got the tweaks down for the first month of the uh, NBA uh, marketing, well, the first couple of weeks. And, you know, maybe March is going to be a new record finalizing Q1, uh, you know, earnings. Okay. So nothing to be too concerned about, guys. You know, down 5%. You can see uh, December, January, and February. Uh, I give this, you know, a B plus, A minus on website traffic. All right, guys, remember, we got one major high volatility day coming up next week. I want everybody to be prepared, and that is the CPI report. Uh, I got to double check. It's probably Tuesday or Wednesday. But, guys, do you think rate cuts are coming in 2024? U.S. keeps reporting 3% inflation range last couple of months. True inflation, well under 2% right now. Looks like there's a 90-day lag on government data. So if I will dominate the mortgage and student loan industry, for the next, you know, two, three years, rate cuts will trigger a refinance floodgate. Perfect timing with SoFi's brand awareness skyrocketing in NBA season with a transition back to NFL and SoFi Stadium in the back half of 2024. This is also where SoFi said they will outshine all of competition and APY, holding their own APY for longer because they're fully digital and can afford to do it, allowing them to gain more market share. So guys, a lot of big moves are going to happen if we get potential rate cuts in the back end of 2024 okay we're waiting on that cpi report hopefully we get you know a solid cpi report on what the fed wants but guys look at the true inflation data we're talking 1.63 uh, percent right now guys just absolutely insane the disconnection on you know government data compared to uh, the true inflation data and guys last night kathy woods loaded up on another 636,000 shares i believe over 700,000 with another uh, portfolio. This brings your shares over 8 million. I think it's much higher, guys. Um, I haven't done the full analysis on this. It could be a 9 to 10 million. I got to do a double check, but I know for sure it's over 8 million. So she's been loading up like crazy. She took a little bit of a pause, you know, for about three weeks. And then when the SoFi stock came down, she just started loading up again. I'm telling you right now, she's been selling Coinbase, selling Robinhood. She thinks SoFi is the best buying opportunity right now. And, um, you know, those stocks, Robinhood and Coinbase, because of the Bitcoin market, I mean, those things have absolutely skyrocketed. I believe SoFi is the best stock to buy right now because the stock has been selling off on pretty good news. I mean, the company's going to be saving $60 million in interest payments. I mean, this is going to all go to the bottom line, guys. There's massive revisions to be made on the SoFi stock right now. If you made the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed doing this video for you. Once again, my name's Kyle. Hope you enjoyed the channel. Be sure to smash the like button, drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll be keeping you updated daily. Have a great day.